Hi everyone, I'm Asma Mishtaq from DWE Vibe. So let's just solve an example for the decision trees. And assuming that you are given a certain data set where two feature vectors, one is the study hours and other one is the previous performance are used to determine the result of the particular student. So if a student study for the medium hours and his previous performance was poor, then he will fail. Similarly, if the study hours for a particular student are high and his previous performance was also good then obviously he will pass okay so let's just build a decision tree and then for determining for some unknown scenario how these decision trees actually help us to make the decision okay the first step is to evaluate the entropy of overall data set so this is actually the resultant of our data set Fine, where the number of samples of the past students is equal to 5 and number of samples of the failed students is also equal to 5 and our first step is to evaluate the entropy of this whole data set this is equal to negative of summation of i is equal to 1 to capital N into probability of i and then log of 2 of probability of i okay since we are having just two classes one is the pass and the second one is fail so n is equal to 2 so from 1 to 2 we will expand this entropy function so entropy of the whole data set is equal to negative of since the probability of pass is equal to 5 over 10 then you have to take the log of 5 over 10 then minus probability of fail is also equal to 5 over 10 then take the log of 5 over 10 and simplify this expression you will get to know it's equal to 1 okay so entropy of the overall data set is equal to what then the next step is to determine or decide which of the features will act as a root node in order to determine that we need to evaluate the entropy of both feature vectors as well as their information gain once we evaluate the information gain and which one is greater will act as the root node for our data set so considering the first feature vector which is actually the study hours okay so for the study hours here are three further types or classes defined it in it one is the less other one is the medium and the last one is the high so total number of less is equal to 3 while the samples for the medium is equal to 4 and for the high it is equal to 3 fine so if you study for less hours then you will always result in fail or your result will be fail so fail fail and fail so that's why all the three samples actually are giving me the information that the student will fail this is actually the final decision if you evaluate the entropy of fail then entropy of fail sorry less is equal to since all the samples are resulting in fail so 3 log of 3 over 3 so there are no students corresponding to less study hours that map to pass so that's why its count is equal to zero and when you will simplify it it becomes one and log of one is equal to zero so entropy of less is equal to zero fine now next is let's evaluate the entropy of medium so for entropy of medium is equal to what let's look at the samples of the students that being in medium how many of them pass and fail since one fail then being in medium and then two fail so two students are passing fine and two are fail so this becomes 2 over 4 log of 2 over 4 then minus again 2 over 4 log of 2 over 4 when you simplify it its entropy is again equal to 1 so entropy of medium is equal to 1 now let's evaluate the entropy of 
high in case of the high you can see pass then pass and then pass all the students are passing and none of them actually fails when your study hours are high so that's why its entropy, its entropy is also equal to zero or you can also justify it mathematically so in this way you have evaluated the entropy of the all the samples in the first feature vector that is actually study hours now let's evaluate the information gain so information gain for any feature fine it is equal to entropy of the overall data set minus summation of sv divided by overall s into entropy of s of v fine while v belongs to feature vector a let's just clarify this formula while applying it on our given data set all right so first of all the entropy of the whole data set was evaluated and it's equal to one in our scenario so one then minus then what we have to do you have to multiply the probability of each feature into in its entropy so for the less study hours okay its entropy was equal to zero multiply by its probability so the probability of less is equal to three over ten then plus the next feature was medium okay for the medium the entropy was equal to 1 multiply by 4 by 10 then plus entropy of the high study uh, hours was also equal to 0 so 0 multiply by 3 divided by 10 if you simplify it so this becomes 1 minus 0 0.4 which is equal to 0 0.6 so the information gain of the first feature vector which is the study hours okay it's equal to 0 0.6 in our scenario now let's evaluate the information gain for the previous performance in case of the previous performance we have two types one is the poor and the other one is the good and for the poor you can count one two three four 5 the count of the poor is 5 so the count of good is also equal to 5 now we have to actually check for the count of the poor the result is fail for once then 2 fine then 3 and then 4 so four number of the students actually failed when the count was equal when the previous performance was poor so four actually failed and one corresponded to pass let's evaluate the entropy of poor this is equal to four since four failed out of five and then log of four over five then minus one actually passed and log of one over five fine let's just simplify it and you will get this is equal to 0 0.7 double two similarly let's evaluate the entropy of good in case of good one failed one pass second third so four students actually pass so that's why its entropy is equal to four number of the past students or the probability of past students into log of probability of pass minus one actually failed so that's why this becomes 1 over 5 again if you simplify it you will get the resultant is equal to 0 0.722 all right next step is to evaluate the information gain for this particular feature previous performance this is equal to entropy of the overall data that was equal to 1 then minus of what then you have to evaluate the probability of poor which is equal to 5 over 10 multiply the entropy of poor which is equal to 0 0.722 then plus probability of pass or good which is equal to 5 over 10 
into entropy of good which is equal to 0 0.722 and if you simplify it you are going to get 1 minus 0 0.722 which is equal to 0 0.278 okay so the information gain calculated for this study ours was equal to so this is actually for the Previous performance it is equal to 0 0.278 while the information gain for the study hours was equal to 0 0.6 since this is greater than the information gain of the previous performance. So that's why the study hours will act as the root node. Okay. So let us make the DC entry now. Study hours. When you make it as a root node, fine. The next step is to classify the features based on its values so you can clearly see that there were three categories one is one was the less so when you study less you actually fail all right and similarly when you study high so when you study high all features map to pass so that's why this was also the leaf node and you can easily reach to the conclusion so you will actually pass what about when you study for the medium hours when you study for the medium hours then what will happen now we will actually simplify or compact our data into medium so this one is medium this one is medium this one is medium and here again this one is medium so when you study for the medium hours obviously we will evaluate the performance now again or we will evaluate the information gain and decide our result so if you look closely when you st study your study hours are medium and your previous performance was poor here you get the poor and here you get the poor you actually fail okay so the next root node is the previous performance that will actually classify the resultant like that so let's just made a node you have to monitor the previous performance and if your previous performance was poor and if it is was good so when it was actually poor you failed and when it was good you actually pass so this was the whole about the bcn freeze concept fine so considering a scenario assume that a student studies for medium number of hours so student studies for medium number of hours and his previous performance was good so first of all you have to go to the medium number of hours obviously we will fall over here then his previous performance was good so he will actually pass the exam thank you for watching